And when he got old, I buzzed him with a 10 blade and just left his whole head and he looked like Gallagher. It was great. <laughs> it was awesome. All right, so literally you just keep coming back and nitpicking your edges. Okay, so why am I telling you that? Because if you have somebody that wants an old-fashioned trim, that's what you need to do. Don't just shave the stripe down the body and around the hip and then just leave all of that stuff. It just looks ridiculous. I hate those trims to begin with, but if I had somebody that wanted one, it would get all the edges would get blended in like this. And if they don't like it, they can go somewhere else because I'm not making a dog look like a topiary bush. <laughs> I'm not. I can't. I, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But I, I will do the patterns, but I have a tendency to come back and start, you know, just blending all of these little edges and stuff and making it blend in. All right, so that's not perfect, but you guys get the idea, right? Okay. Now his tail's been Asian fusion for forever, and he's like, what are you doing? That's mine. <laughs> Don't look at me like that like your daddy. <gasps> he's so bad. He's trying to wag it is what he's doing. <laughs> he's so bad. All right. So first thing we do now is we got a big overgrown tail. He's trying to wag his tail. Stop. Stand. Thank you. He's always happy. Always. So we trim it all down and <laughs> who snorted? <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> all right. So basically just like a cuff. Um, I've seen some people trim these like a cuff when they're short, but it's just like the cuff at the bottom of the foot. Just straight around like that. And then we already trimmed the tip. His, this is literally the tip of his tail right there. And I didn't talk, if I, even if I had docked his tail, I would have only taken off about that much. The rule of thumb when you're docking tails is leave two thirds on and take a third off of a poodle. They shouldn't be a little bunny tail. In cockers either. You should be able to hold their whole tail in your hand. So then we just fluff it up and look, all we got is that stuff in the middle, right? Because we already did the top and the bottom and now we're going to do the middle. And it's not round. It's oblong and it looks more like a Christmas tree. There are ways to also to fix what we call squirrely tails or gay tails and then carry them over their back. There are ways to fix that with hair if you have enough. But luckily with him we don't have to do that. His sister I have to do that with a little bit. But I've got her in a German right now. She's had puppies. So we can see her whole tail. But it's gotten stringy because I was growing it out, but what'll happen over the next few months, the more I trim it, it's just like a tree, okay? The more I trim the hair, the more thick it'll get and the better it'll stand up. Because I've had it so long for so long, it's kind of gotten a little bit stringy. It's a little bit flat back there too, probably from it holding his tail down, I'm thinking. So we're just going to leave that. We're not going to correct it. We're going to see what happens. Okay? So it looks kind of more like a fat Christmas tree or a toilet paper roll. Um, you know, whatever, whatever makes your brain think that's the shape, then use that. Okay? Okay, and then the front leg is the same as the Continental, and I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna fix this knee too because I, I cannot see it from the front. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm just rounding out those edges just like I did on the tail. And I'm 
probably now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to tighten up his rear end some too. <laughs> See? Um, I'm going to tighten up his rear because I don't like that sticking out. And see how it's making him look really long? So I couldn't see that from the back here. So we're going to literally take this almost all the way to the skin. And then we're going to round that out some more. And makes this even shorter because I don't like it. I need to shut my phone on do not disturb sorry guys I didn't think about it this morning there we go now that shape's starting to come better like I like it so see even just that little bit that was like a quarter of an inch of hair is going to make him look more square because I took it off of his rear end here. So just those little things even in your pet grooming can make a big difference in what things look like. And we do want this to pinch in just a little bit here but we also don't want him to look like a bee or a wasp. <laughs> That was one of the first mistakes that I made doing uh, the Continental because I was scissoring like this and I was pinching all of this in and it made it look like in the center. All right, so let's go to the front leg now. And how we measured the bracelet on the front leg, I've shown you guys a couple times, but we'll do it again. Okay, hock, straight across. That's where your bracelet goes in the front. Not down here, up here where the actual hock joint is where you start. Not that angle in the front because then you get it too low. Always come from right there. So what I do when I'm doing the front leg, because we shaved the whole front leg, and that makes it a whole lot easier, is I go above where I want and I go straight up to the elbow. And try not to scoop out, just go up and stop. I know, you're a good boy. But one of the biggest mistakes that people make doing uh, jackets and front bracelets is you leave this down too far and it looks like they got elbows or sleeves. You don't want to do that. That means to go bye-bye. So you do that by coming literally all the way up right next to the elbow with your clipping. See, you can literally see his elbow. But again, I'm doing that in particular with him if you had a dog that had really long legs and you didn't want to do that, you want to make them look a little bit shorter, then you don't trim it up so high. And I probably brought it up a little bit too high, but you get the point. Again, I haven't set him in this in a while, but you should be, I'm showing his whole elbow, but you should almost, you should just barely see the, this part of his elbow here.